na kwa sababu hiyo hiyo mkijitahidi sana kwa upande wenu katika imani yenu tieni na wema na katika wema wenu maarifa to knowledge self control to self control perseverance and uh, to perseverance godliness na katika maarifa yenu kiasi na katika kiasi chenu saburi na katika saburi yenu mtaua and to godliness brotherly love and uh, to brotherly love love na katika utaua wenu upendano wa ndugu na katika upendano wa ndugu basi upendo because if these things are yours maana mambo hayo yakiwa kwenu and abound na kujaa tele tele you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our lord jesus christ yawafanya hamashia yawafanya ninyi kuwa si wavivu wala si watu wasio na matunda kwa kumjua bwana wetu yeshua ambaye ni masihi amen amen let's pray shortly tuombe basi kwa ufupi amen amen May I will bless you you may be seen. Yawe na wabariki mnaweza kukesh basi. That's very good. Hiyo ni vema sana. The scripture calls us a, a kingdom of priests. Basi maandiko yanatuita ufalme wa wale makuhani. Brother Daniel has been with me constantly in Jivanji. He knows a lot now. Daniel amekuwa nami kwa kufuatilia pale katika bustani ya Jivanji na anafahamu mambo mengi. And also uh, he has been a pastor or a preacher before he came here. Kile pia vile vile alikuwa ni mchungaji kabla ya kuja hapa. Amen. Amen. Uh, we have good news uh, from Kinshasa brother Pierre Persis. Much much. Amen. Amen. There's one thing I've realized with this church. Every time we gather, we pray for something, Elohim always answers us. May his name be praised. We are talking about the brotherhood love. Ah, he's only coming in now, he was there before. You get ready next Sunday. Amen. Amen. We are talking about brotherly love and may you bless the brothers who spoke. That is actually what we are going through. I said last time every time you walk inside here let this one be a mirror to you at which level have, have I reached where am I here examine yourself when you face this mirror so that it tells you if you have becoming perfect or you still have a long way to go sasa ikuambie kama unafanyika mtu mkamilifu ama bado una njia ndefu ya kufuata there is a fight here between agapao love and filial love basi kuna mapigano hapa kinyume cha kati ya upendo wa agapao na ule upendo wa filio Listen to me very well my brothers and sisters. Nisikize kwa makini ndugu zangu na dada zangu. Filial love is what we get in this world. Basi upendo ule wa filio ndio wa kawaida tunaopata hapa duniani. My brother, ndugu yangu, my sister, dada yangu, sibling in the family. Yaani watu wa jamaa moja. We love each other. Tunapendana kwa kawaida. That love, upendo huo, is a natural human Nupendo halisi yani wa kikawaida wa binadamu. Growing I have friends. Nikianza kukua basi napata marafiki. He's good to me, I'm good to him, I love him. Nitenda mema na watenda mema tunapendana. When we are at school we have uh, colleagues and then uh, 
are friends, we build it, we grew up together, and we study together, we love each other. My uncle, my aunties, my grandma, my grandfather, uh, all those niece, cousins, we love each other. That love is filial. This love is jealous. This love is a love that can kill. I love my wife. And I find a man disturbing my wife. There is no way you can tell me to love that man. Can you? No, I can't. This love which is earth is limited. Am I correct? Yes. That's what it is. Even in friendship, you, you feel acting. So I'm friend with Brother Evans. When I start seeing Brother Evans, is not friendly with me. He's now friend with Brother Samuel. I feel like what's happening. Some jealousy, a percentage of jealousy is involved. Am I correct? Yes. Even you are friends here in, in brothers or sisters, yeah, and yeah. you see someone going away from you, you feel like, what's happening? That's slight jealousy. Fileo. Fileo. But now when it comes to agapao love, agapao love goes beyond this. Someone who is your enemy, the Bible says, love him. Ah. Ah. Someone who's um, coming after your wife, the scripture says, pray for him. Ah. And now, the love you have for that man is doing it because he does not know. And you have the right to bring that person to Christ. And for you to bring that person to love to Christ, you must start loving him with not human love, but with godly love. And this is what I want you to understand. This love shows Elohim loving even the people who are killing him. Those who speak bad against you love them. Brother, it's a love for strangers. It's not a family love. This is a love I have for a brother, a sister that I meet in Christ. Physically, I don't know you. I don't even know where you come from. I don't know even uh, whatever it is about you. But because you are a believer, and I am a believer, Yeshua said, they came to him and asked Yeshua, Yeshua, your family, your biological family is outside. They want you to go there. Yeshua said, what? Look at Yeshua. He's crucifying Phileo love. Your uncle is outside. Your mother is outside. Imagine the love we have for our mother. It's it has been two few days here. I've been thinking about my mom. Uh, it's really painful. I was telling my wife, I, I don't even know in, in my life when she is in need of something and I give to her, how could be her answer? That part in my life, I don't care. She went too early. Very, very early. So that gap in me, it's there. Imagine Yeshua now saying, Miriam, his mother, his family. 
His brothers out. Wandugu pia wanamsubiri pale. Walikuja. They found Yeshua preaching. To the disciples. Anawahubiria wale wanakuja. He said to the informer. Akamwambia yule aliyeleta habari. Who is my mother? Sasa mamangu ni nani? Who is my brother? Ndugu yangu ni nani? Who is my sister? Nani dada yangu? Brother it's a, an insult to this land. My son, you are speaking this way. Yeshua, Yeshua was beyond Fileo. Fileo. He said, You are my family, my biological family. Then the scripture says, Laying his head on his disciple. He said to the informer, That family that is always outside. That family that become enemies of us because of this love. He said, this is my brother. This is my sister. This is my mother. He said, Those who are doing the will of my father, that's my family. I'm going to show you part of the what the brothers spoke about. When you come, you say Yeshua. Yeshua, because you have believed now, you have abandoned your family. You speak about your family like that. Yeshua. Yeshua. Which example is this? He was beyond Phileo. Amen. Amen. Look at his love. For God so loved the world. The world that is going to kill you. That's why I say love your enemies. If you love only those who love you. If you only spend for those who love you. If you spend your resources only for your family members. Yeshua says, what you are doing there? Who are also doing it? Brother Paul. Who do that kind of work? Outsiders. The scripture says who? Yes, brother Mike. Tax collectors. Tax collectors in, in town here, yeah, CPD, they are called who? Yes, who? Yes, who? Yes, who? Yes, who? Yes, who? Kanjo, not Bakat. Kanjo. <laughs> and you know, let me tell you, as I said last Sunday, Kanjo are people of bad character. It's not so, brother Alex. Brother, kindly stand up. Stand up. You told us something... Uh, about the Kanjo last time. Can describe to us a little bit the Kanjo of CBD. Very fast, fast a second. It's not finished. When they get the people are selling it, what do they do? Do people love them or if they see them, what happens? Do people love them or if they Kanjo. Kanjo. If you want to know, <laughs> if you want to know, Kanjo, come here in the evening. In town. People, when they see them, they collect them. Now Yeshua says, those bad people, those bad people, them also, they've got love. They love their wives, their kids, their family, their country. He says, that love, feel even bad people, they have it. A thief who's stealing you, but he's stealing to please his wife. He's stealing to please his children. And a friend, when he's with his family, he shows love. But when he comes to this man, he's a thief to please. Am I correct? Yeah. But the love we are talking about here is not that family. Biological. 
what you want to do. I'm working here so that I can send money. I'm working here so that I can give my family members. That one is a normal love which has no reward. You cannot go to heaven because of that. Because if we have to go to heaven because we love our family, I'm spending for my family. Then the Muslims will go to heaven. Am I correct? Yeah. Freemasons will go to heaven. Demons will go to heaven. Because demons love demons. Am I correct? So it's not about the family. No. Amen. The brother here, this love of the brothers and sisters is not a family love. It's the love of the brother that Elohim saved. The love of the sister that Elohim saved. We meet in Christ. No, we don't meet as a Lu or a Lu of the tribes of this world. No. You are from this tribe we have here. The moment you die in that tribe, you join another tribe which is called Christ. And the people who are of the tribe of Christ are called Christians. That's your new tribe. That's why he said in the scripture, in Christ Yeshua, he has redeemed us back to God. <laughs> the people from every tribe, every nation, every race in Christ. There's no, there's no white, there's no black, there's no Greek. There's no, we are all one. <laughs> At that time, you love your brother. That you, you love, love your sister. You love your sister. You, love your sister. Yeah. you spend for him or her the way you could spend for yourself. And when you do that for your brother or for your sister, Elohim says, You are not doing it to your brother. You are not doing it to your sister. You are doing it to me. Uh, uh, Saul, 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 why are you persecuting me? Saul, Saul, he was persecuting who? The brothers and the sisters of the family of Christ. Amen. Amen. If your brother is hurt, you you are hurt. Your sister here is hurt, you you are hurt. If you see a brother not caring about a brother or a sister who's suffering here, let me tell you, you will not go far. You will not go far. You will only be sitting here a pretender. Ah, shalom, brother George. Ah, shalom, dugu George. But in my heart, uh, your business is a business. Oh, I don't care. Even if you don't come for two days, will you do that if you don't see your son? Well, utafanya hivyo kama utoni mwanao siku mbili. Will you do that if you don't see your brother for two days? Why is that this video is getting hold of more of us than other powers? Look here when this love comes. The scripture says, All those who had possessions, <laughs> They sold them. They brought the money to their uncles. They brought the money to their fathers. And that's why I want you to tell me. The brotherhood love yeah. in the early church. Bendo and Dugu Katika Kanista Lamuanzo. They took the money. What did you go about in a feather? Not ten percent. I mean, I go as in a mere woman. But the one hundred percent. You go near Silimia Mia Moja. 
They bring this money to someone biologically they are not related to. They bring it to the feet of the apostles. At that time, listen to me, at that time, the family members yani watu wa jamii, in their biological they say, oh, our brother is selling the pot. Now we are going to have some money. Yeah, yes. you, you will go to university. university. You will have something to do the business. Your brother also sells the product. So you are expecting him to bring money. Uh, uh, he takes the whole money. He wears to Peter. Peter to go. The brothers of the family yani are standing outside. Very mad. So you are sending only for your church? Yes. CEO. Only your pastors? Yes. CEO. Do you see why they can become your enemies? Ah, only my my someone me me me. The brother comes. Brother, I've got a problem for transfer. Yahweh will bless. Yahweh We are going to. You are an hypocrite. You are a demon. James says, if you cannot show love by giving him what is in need of. Your love, your faith, look again here. Yeshua was in the temple. As he was in the temple, he saw people with money. See, those people in the, in the, the government, those people. They want to be seen. He's got billions. The way I saw in the Pentecostal church in South Africa. Huh? Yeah. He comes from the, <laughs> he comes there. And everyone is saying. Then before coming there, he removed, he removed the check. And the check, yeah? And he's doing this. So that everyone sees it. He's not putting money. He's putting a check. And he goes and puts it. And he goes and puts it. And he goes and puts it. Yeshua was standing on a corner and looking at it. So Yeshua was standing on a corner and looking at it. The first brother comes. The second brother. The second brother. The sisters. The other brother. They come. The other brother. They were giving what they had. The surplus. Yani walikuwa na peana kile chaziada. Walikuwa zaidi. The money that you see is yani, useless. Yani pesa mbao wana haina faida. I don't have. I have, I have no program yani with this. Yani sina mpangilio na fedha hizo. Can you see it's not a sacrifice? Na wata siki tuja kujitoa. So you have no plan with that money. Yani hauna mpangilio na fedha hizo. Then you take that money. Say so no, I'm giving this one to God. Yeshua say. Yeshua ka say. Wait a minute. Subiri kwa. A poor lady was coming. Sasa mwana mke masikini akaja pale. She came. Akaja. She came. Akaja. In her poverty. Yani katika umaskini waki. She had all that she had. Alikuwa tunayalie kuwa na hili. She said. Atasema. I will give this to Elohim. Nitampa Elohim hii. Then whatever comes after. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. All that she had. Yani ndiyo alio kuwa na ayo. She put. Yeshua said, Yeshua said I've got a subject to teach you. Because I've seen all of you acting. But let me now give you the, the, the summary. Oh, the, the teaching. Out of all of you who gave to Elohim. He gave something which is not a sacrifice. But this woman. She is poor. But all that she had. Listen to me carefully. Do you think she, did, she was not having a need? Do you think she was not in need? Huh? She was in need. Huh? Do you think she could do something with that money? Are you with me? But she chose to sacrifice for Elohim. Only Agapao can do that. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. And today, Na leo hi, we talk about that lady. Everywhere we preach the gospel, we mention that. Because she did something normally, Philo cannot accept. Brother Branham says, When I get my salary, and I see my father is sick, I hear my mother is in the hospital. Maybe my house is not paid yet. He says, in a, a, a known God, the, 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 the Lord that is misunderstood, the Lord is misunderstood. He says, first of all, before looking at my problems, Elohim first, He says, Elohim comes first. What kind of love is that? John chapter 15. John chapter 15. We will go analyzing the Old Testament. As I told you last Sunday, that the law and the prophet spoke about one word love I wish at the end of the service today we pray Elohim increase us our faith because when Elohim increases your faith the result will be evident Peter says if these things are yours I repeat if these things are yours who can complete the sentence and uh, yes uh -uh. You are wrong. If these things are yours, and complete the sentence. Sorry? Sorry, stand up. I can't hear you. Stand up. Akuna. Yes? Ah, and abound. They must not only be yours, they must abound. Bound in you, you become full of faith, full of virtue, full of knowledge, full of temperance, mastering yourself. When they full, 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 at the same time you are losing friends. The brother says you are climbing, you are also getting tired. Amen. But here when you climb, you become very strong. Amen. Because physically, Amen. when you climb the mountain, Amen. you become tired. Amen. But when you climb here, Amen. the more you become strong. Amen. The more you become God. Say amen. And Elohim does not get tired. Elohim the only thing you lose, you are losing friends. You are losing the family. You lose all those things. You, be, you, 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 you become uh, more one with Elohim. Amen. 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 We have to ask the brothers at the Pentecost time. At the Pentecost time. So you are selling all your property. Everything that you have. Just for the church. And the scripture says. After these events. In the church where Peter was the pastor. There was no one who was poor. Well, if in the church you have a brother or a sister who's poor, let me give you the reason. Let's go to first, uh, Second Timothy. When a brother is uh, is uh, poor and needy in the church, here is the reason. The reason is Laodicea. 
Now you are not saying amen. I'm saying amen, amen. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me show you the contrary of uh, the brotherhood. Someone can stand up to read. Anyone. Second Timothy chapter 3. Why are you looking behind? Stand up. Well, the problem says is if Frank was to take the water, that's not. You stand up. Where's Mama? Amen. Amen. Chapter 3, verse 1. Why do we have people suffering? Brother Jackton, Jackton. Yahweh bless you, you are back. Yes. Let's read. But understand this. Brothers, sisters, look at me, please. I also beg you to understand. This. We are here. The people's right. Yani my right. Haki yang. Fileo. Fileo. Not God's right. Si haki my right. Haki yang. Laodicea. Laodicea. He thinks about myself. Si not your brother. Si it's we. not my brother's right. Si it's not haki our haki people's right. Si haki it's my right. Ni haki yang what mi Laodicea mi means. Mi but love mi does mi not talk about me, me, I. No. Love talks mi mi about us. Imagine you are you are in a family. You have a, a wife and uh, you have a husband. <laughs> every time, every time he or she talks about the children, always says, "My children, my children." He or she does not say, "Our children." Something is wrong. Some, something is wrong. But anyway, Laodicea, Laodicea my right, yani people's right, opposes They think about anything. They want to do anything. But they don't want to do what God said. This is the time where boyfriend girlfriend relationships has increased and marriage, which comes from God's word, is jeopardized. People prefer to be in a relationship without commitment. So we meet, whatever it is, all I have to do. Then that's it. We go each one in separate ways. That is Laodicea. Read. But understand this. Yes. That in the last days in there will come. Lakini fahamu hii neno hili ya kuwa siku za mwisho will come times of difficulty. Utakuwa na nyakati hatari. Wait a minute. Subiri bwana. In the last days, are we in the last days? Siku siku za mwisho. We will have what? Tutakuwa na nini? Hard times. Tutakuwa na nyakati za hatari. There will be hard times. Tutakuwa na nyakati ngumu. Even Yeshua, when he reaches the end of his ministry, he had hard times. Oh, because he was about to go. We also, like Yeshua, like Father, like Son, when we are at the end of our surgeon on earth, when we are at the end of our stay in this world, Times will be different. Yeshua, they kill him. Yeshua, Yeshua said, Yeshua said, they will persecute you. They will kill you. What they did to me, they will do to you. Listen to me carefully. It will be hard times. It will be hard times. Continue. For people will be hating you. Why are we? 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 No. Why are we? Why are we? What? They will not love their brothers. They will not love their sisters. They will love. I love myself. I spend for myself. I do everything for myself. Your interest is yours. And they say, this is our time. They tell you, 
Mind your business. Wewe shughulika na mambo yako mwenyewe. That excommunicates love. Yaani hiyo inatupa upendo nje. But in the church, kanisa, your business yani is my business. Ah, ah, yangu pia mimi. Love says, if you see your brother yaku, doing something wrong, tendo lisilo sao, tell him, muambie, mind your own business. Yani ya na yako is that what the Bible says? Anasema, no. La hasha. The Bible says, anasema, that problem shida hiyo, becomes yours. Go and say. Hey, don't worry. Brother George, how are you? Yeah, God bless you. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you. Yeah, you. Also, you must know how to talk to your yeah, brother. With, with respect. respect. You can see a brother talking to another brother. No, yeah. brother, don't do that. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. That is to be a dog. We are not training dogs here. Something Sorry, 
Yeshua was preaching Yeshua but it was not yet time for them to believe. The people Yeshua was talking to when he was teaching to them they refused to believe. Peter and the rest of the disciples said so they don't want to believe it. Yeshua. They cannot play with you this way. Do you want us to go to fire and burn them now? Why do you want to burn your brother? Why do you want to burn your sister because he has not reached your understanding? Yes, he has not reached your level. Wait. Pray. No, for you is You change your face. You will not intimidate a believer. Amen. Amen. I always pray for the people in Jivanjita. You can do a demonstration and you preach very well. Everyone, even some of them, they clap. When they see you coming to Jivanjita, they clap. But to believe. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like But I still have to show love. Yeshua, after he heard them say, We call fire with He said, Why? Why? I did not come to come and destroy you. No, I came to save the people who are lost. Amen. Look at Abraham. Never sit up. Abraham. Abraham. He was with the Lord. Am I correct? Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Abraham and Lot. Abraham and Lot. They were brothers. Who can prove to me why I say they were brothers? Abraham was the father. Abraham Lot was his son. He is the son of the brother of Abraham. Am I correct? Yes. To Abraham he was who? Abraham a nephew. Am I great? Yes. But now I'm saying Abraham, Abraham and Lot as his brother. Was he his brother? Or his son? Who say that he was his son? Raise up your hand. Brothers and sisters. Those who believe that Lot was the son of uh, Lot of Abraham. Abraham. <laughs> It's like this. No, raise up your hand. I want to see. Okay. So, those who believe he was his brother, raise up your hand. I want to see. People are hesitating. What was it? Okay. So, the first pass, they were right. But these ones who have left up their hands now prove to me why they were. Brothers. I start with you. Why are you saying that Lot was Abraham's brother? Huh? Oh, you were saying his son, not his brother. Oh, okay. Who said he was his brother? Brother Daniel. Yahweh is Elohim is my charge. Give us the answer and I will bless you now. Eighty percent. Asilimia tamanini. Make it clear. You wake your eyes. They believed the same message. When Abraham 
Abraham heard Elohim and went out, Lord believed and went also out with Abraham. Am I correct? Yes. Because how? That's why I said they were brothers in the faith. But physically, they were also related. The time is coming when we are going also to be related. Our brother has got a daughter here. And her brother marries her. Already beyond the spiritual relation. Physically also. Related. Am I correct? Uh, don't protect her also. She's a bit gone. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, you're monitoring who's <laughs> next to your daughter. Hey! <laughs> Does the Bible say you shall not covet somebody's daughter? <laughs> <laughs> no, somebody's wife. <laughs> That's where you must not covet. I uh, uh, think uh, what you want to drink. Uh, the uh, 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 <laughs> yes? Dio. For people will be lovers of self. No, no, I did not finish. Abraham and Lot had an issue. They separated. It can happen also, a few brothers here have got a problem. Or two sisters here have got a problem. They separate. You have a problem physically. But spiritually, yes. Now, when Lot went, Abraham remained. Abraham did not uh, lose his love. Abraham Elohim came. Elohim Abraham. Abraham. I want to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham said, Lot is there. Elohim. Elohim. Will you destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? When you have 40, 40, no, 50, righteous there. Look at the way love talks. Even if he was having a problem with law, but he was still intervening for God. I have a problem with law, but don't kill him. He's a righteous like me. Yahweh says, I've hearkened to your word. If there are 50 days, I spare the whole city. Brother, when you know your brother is somewhere, your sister is somewhere, and you have a problem with him, kneel down and pray for him. Your problem is nothing. Your problem with your brother or your sister is nothing. That's why the Bible says, Love. Covers a lot of sin. It's not this love. Because this love will remind you where you are wrong. Yes, 2021. January. January. You, you misbehave. Yes. And after now, you have not repented. <laughs> You have not come to me to say so. Agapao says, even if your brother does not come to say so, even if your sister does not come to say so, forgive him. Forgive him. Say amen. This love does not consider the offenses. This love covers the mistakes of your brother. This love heals your brother and sister in your heart. Love. Love. Paul writes about this love that we should have here. Paul did not write about this love here. He says, if an unbeliever is married to a believer and if there is divorce, the believing part is not bound. But in a natural love, if I'm married to my wife, in a natural love, when we separate, uh, she must remain that way. We are going to another sphere here. 
She must remain. In case she was a believer, and I am an unbeliever, we separate. That's the feeling of love. Is nullified. Aha. Brother, you're smiling. It's very nice. Eh? What happens, brother Samuel? What next? You're looking at me as if you're lost. Yes. She's free. From what? We are here, we are here. She's free from what? From Philip. Say, man. Paul says, Paul the sister in the Christ yani dada dani ya is not a bound. Where are we here? You speak. <laughs> the love we can sing here, which the Bible says, that love is so great. Yani yani in the song, I would like us to sing that song, brother. Brother Emmanuel, if all of us we could be writing about love, and we consider all the trees of Congo and of the world as our biropen, and we take the oceans and the seas and rivers as the ink. Yani kama we know Everyone write about love. Yani kila mmoja anaandike kuhusu That water yani maji will not be enough to express yani every kind of love Elohim. Amen. Amen. Love Upen. is mysterious. Ni kitu ambacho we are born together from same father, same mother. But I consider this brother here in Christ more than you. Explain. Explain. But the family we care for, my uncle, my auntie, my wife, my wife, I give them things, I pay them. But those are the people who speak bad against us. You see someone saying, no, no, I have to take care of them. I have to them. Then when you go, they start criticizing your own children. The family members. Even some will say, we will see if you get married. Yes. But yesterday I gave you money. Ah. So you put your children to dress this way. You, you will see. You, you will see, not me. I will see Elohim. You will see Satan. Amen. Amen. The man's own enemies. Will be the people of his own family because of other power and love of God, it will create enmity in your family. You will be loving Christ more than your people. Then Yeshua said, If any one of you love his father and mother more than me, hey, Yeshua. You are the one who said obey your father and mother. And he goes again on a corner. A corner. And he says, if you love your father, if you love your mother more than me, you are not worth of it. Now, how can you put this to school? I need to love, obey my parents. But I must not love them more than God. Explain. Brothers, 
pray for your parents. Amen. I'm telling you with my heart. Pray for your parents. If they are not yet believers. I would like to see on the other side of the river. The saints are there. And when I walk here. I see my mother. I can ask my mother. I walk on the other side. There my father is coming with Gabriel. Those who die, they join their family. Paul says, a dead in Christ is not dead. He's resting. It's only as if he has traveled to America. He's no longer in Kenya. He's in America. When he's traveling, we cry a little bit because of the pain of separation. In pain, but I know he's just living in America. Am I right? I know I will see him again. That is when you die in Christ. But when you die outside Christ, I will advise you, if someone in your family, Phileo, who has died, cry bitterly, because you have lost him or her definitely. The only time you will see that person is on the last judgment at the second resurrection. It's the resurrection that Elohim has given to the pagan. You died in the sea. The sea will bring you in the That's why I've seen in some cartoon I've seen in a cartoon where someone who died in the water, the, the water brought the person outside. Then the water was standing there and then the water went. They got inspired from that scripture. You died in the forest. The forest will bring you out. That is the time you are going to see your uncle. The unbelieving uh, members of your family, you will be standing like us in the judgment and they will be in front of you. You will judge those of your family. You say, uh, Uncle X, I'm here with Yeshua and I've been allowed to judge you. You remember when I was preaching to you the word of God? I told you this, this, and you replied what? Your uncle says, I can't remember. Let me refresh your memory. The screen. You see yourself saying, my friend, you were just born here and again. And you are coming to teach me. You think I don't know the Bible? But at that time, every useless word you say will be heard there. Then, pap, it goes. Why did you say that? Because I believe that that's how you see me. I'm in the glory now. No, no, me. You, you, you belittled me because I was your, 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 your nephew. Now, at this time, judgment. Judgment. Okay, now because you did not believe. I don't know which angel. Collect my uncle. Throw him in the, in, the, in the fire of them. Brother. No. At that time, you will see the way they will take your uncle. The one you love. You even wanted to him to be saved. They throw, they take him. They go with him. They throw him in the water, in the fire there. Boom. Then you go, my cousin so. Here. You will judge those of your family. Those are the people who gave money. You paid school fees, but they did not believe. Say amen. Only faith will take you there. Amen. Brother, let's read. For people will be. Ah, I did not finish. Still, I did not finish. Abraham. Abraham. Say to Elohim. I want to kill Sodom and 
I just came down to make sure that uh, what I'm hearing there is uh, so if they are 30 days Abraham I told you if they are 30 I spare them you see the love in Abraham a brother you are having a problem with you separated we but you intercede you are blocking Elohim, Elohim to fulfill his will because your brother is dead. Our brother who has a problem with you. And the power is something else. Now, if it were you here, ah, I was having a problem with Brother Daniel. Now the police have arrested him. Hey, you can't mock the children of God. You are happy. <laughs> what is that? You did not Fileo. You did not Fileo. So yesterday he, he was <laughs> showing lack like, respect to me. <laughs> Today they arrested him. You are happy. And you are not the spirit of Christ does not act uh, this way. When they arrest your brother, <inaudible> you were having a problem with <inaudible> Kneel down. <inaudible> Pray for him. <inaudible> Thank you for praying. <inaudible> Abraham said, <inaudible> I cannot accept Elohim. You kill the righteous <inaudible> and the unrighteous <inaudible> together. When, when he was saying righteous day, he was thinking about who? A brother like him who believed. But wait a minute. If Abraham had a family member's day, some Chaldeans, because Abraham came from Chaldean, his uh, grand, 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 those, uh, those other ones there, who also may have traveled to Sodom and Gomorrah. Did Abraham care? Abraham alijali hiyo. Talk to me. Did he care? Je, alijali hiyo. He was caring about who? Alikuwa anajali kuhusu na nani? Why Lord? Kwa nini Lord? Because he was a believer like him. Kwa maana alikuwa muamini kama yeye. Amen. Amen. Because of him. Kwa ajili yake. The two angels came. Wale malaika wawili wakaja to fulfill the desire of Abraham yeah, to protect his brother yeah. who separated with him they had a small disagreement when they saved him Abraham was happy in this way I can see again my brother and reconcile Amen. 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 Now, Sasa. Yeshua will be teaching us something. <laughs> but before we do, I wanted to show you why do we have problems now. Brothers and sisters have problems within themselves. Why is that I cannot help the brother Paul here? How come I cannot assist the sister here? And even if I can, why am I not free to just do without him? Here is the reason. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1. But understand this. Understand this. Understand this. That in the last days there will come times of difficulty. Laodicea will have hard times. The church of Laodicea will have hard times. Why? For people will be lovers of self. Of themselves. Yes. Now, I, I, I want to work for my family only. Only my family. Only my family. Yani family yangu tu. So not Brother Paul's family. Ah, si that is your business. Brother Paul is suffering because Brother Paul here who could assist him. Brother Paul loves himself too much. Sister so is suffering because the sister was to assist her loves herself too much. 
Lack of love. Kukosa upendo. Lack of love. Kukosa upendo. We are suffering for that. Tunapitia mateso kwa ajili ya hali hiyo. Brother Austin. Are we together? Kwa pamoja. Continue. Endelea basi. Lovers of money. Ah. Watu wanapenda fedha. Yo 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 yo. yo. Wanapenda nini? Pesa fedha. Eh, mbongo, eh, l'argent and eh uh, uh, ama faranga. <laughs> Dollars. The brother is suffering. Ndugu anapitia dhiki. Because he's working for another brother. Anamfanyia ndugu mmoja. Who loves money too much. Ndugu huyo anapenda pesa sana. He does not pay my I'm brother his salary. I'm limping chara wake. Why do you think nowadays we go on strike? Aso nadhani ni kwani kwa us but the world today. Kwa nini dunia ulimwengu wote? We have more strikes today than ever in the history. Watu wanagoma zaidi nyakati hizi kuliko upande wa hawa. Probably in this audition time. Ngali sasa nyakati za audition. The doctors are going on strike. Madaktari wanagoma. Nurses on strike. Wahuzi wanagoma. Am I correct? Kweli? If it were po possible, even the police officers could go on, on strike. But because of some policies inside there, they are warning them. Drivers are going on strike. What are they claiming? My right. Yani hakizao. My right. Hakizao. In this time. Now in the church what happens? Those who have money. They love money. Money becomes their god. They wake up early in the morning. To go to work. For money. They come back from work. Very tired. Back home. For money. Go to school. Learning up to university. For money. Wait a minute. Who is going to school here to better the life of uh, uh, his uncle? Nani naenda shule ni hivi maisha ya I want to see. Ya kuwe sawa. Nionyeshe na Hakuna. You see? Hakuna. Hey. When you are away, you are going to work. You explain to me. Unaenda kazi, unasoma. Look at the way love talks to someone who's needy. Naona jinsi mapenzi yanavyoenda kwa mtu aliyenahitaji. You're looking at me, you're expecting me to give you money. But money I don't have. Gold and silver I don't have. But I've got a gapao. I've got a gapao. In the name of Yeshua, stand up! Feel you cannot do that. Amen. Here, my son is sick. The love I have for him is a filial love. Alright? This love cannot heal him. If I now change the gear from a filial to a gapao. You see when you are driving, eh? you put the change. You start with the filial. When the filial is finished, the power is finished. Change a gapao. Then you take your son. You lay your hand on him. Oh, shout it, man. You add the words. Then your son stands up. Filio cannot do that. Say amen. It's when you love with God's love. Say amen. What is killing love nowadays? The time we are living in. People are selfish. They love money. They love themselves. Last time we had a problem, it, it, I think it was, uh, no, I heard it on the East, somewhere in the, in the East. Two women were fighting. The fight came even to the public place. I was with the brother who was the preacher there. 
So I said to the brother, this place people can start throwing so let's go here. He went to investigate. What was the problem? The two women were fighting. Because one used the body lotion of the other one. So we are to be a mafia. I said, what? So this fight is for body lotion. Women, body lotion. <laughs> no, not only body lotion. She also used my perfume. She yeah. took it and went to the, the, the party with it yesterday. Yeah. So what? But she brought it back. No, no, fight. Perfume. <laughs> body lotion. Yani sufuri. A Christian is. A Christian behaves this way. Brother, what do you want? No, 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 brother, you have to. What do you want? No, I want to attack it. You put it, I don't know how many millions. Don't look at the millions. I'm also feeling good. <laughs> Sometimes you can be having things that disturb you, also offload. And you can look at your house there, you will see the trousers and the suits. And some clothes we have there in our house. We don't even wear them. It's not so. Check, you will see. I was this morning when I was looking for which one I'm going to put on. I say, ah, I need also to, to remove some of the choice. Give to brothers. Amen. How will you behave when you see a brother in need? You are, you are having things you don't even use. A brother says what? Oh, you want for it for this Take. Take again even pocket money. Give to the person. Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. Go your way. Elohim says, you look like me. Selfishness is killing brotherhood love. Have you ever seen children when they are in the ucho? Ucho, ucho. You want to take the biscuit? He has. Oh. <laughs> and he's changing his face. Now, who's on a kujana? We laugh because it's children. But you do the same. But you, you will not do this. Where would I find a if you just say, Ah, brother, I don't have someone who's in a if a lame place is a little bit of a party, you know yourself that you are. Where would I do? Go nigh, Uchoyo, Uchoyo, not selfish, selfish. And let me tell you, those who are selfish, what about your choice? Heaven, Bingo, a wingy, Amen, Amen. Let me finish my teaching and we go home. What can you come listen from the uncle to anybody? Yes, finish. Repeat from the beginning. Brother Moshe, are you okay? You've been working too much and you are sleeping now. Go ahead. But understand this. Yes. That in the last days, in the there last will come days. times of difficulty. For people will be lovers of themselves. themselves. Lovers of money. Lovers of money. People who are proud. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hmm? Why do someone answer me? Why do you think in the Laodicean church age people love money? Brother Moshe, pleased to see you back. You have gone very far from Nairobi now. Yeah, I'm very happy to see you. You came with a sister. Huh? I don't see her. Ah. Oh, she has changed the place. I used to see her behind her. Now you are afraid. Why do you think now people love money? In Laodicean church. Somebody help me. Yes, brother. Brother Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yes, it's the end time. But why? Only at the end time. Yes, 
Ndiyo? You are right. Sawa? Yes, brother Paul. Ndugu Paulo. The writer. Mwandishi. Yes. Ndiyo. Go ahead. Go to bed. No. Last. Matthew 24. Yes. Matayo 24. Mali had blessed the devil of him. Exactly. Pesa. Mali. In the Laodicean church age, has taken the place of God. The Bible says, you cannot love two masters at, in the same way, at the same time. Either you love one more than the other one, or you love this one more than the other one. And Yeshua said, you, can love, you cannot love both God and money at the same time people kill nowadays for money in johannesburg in pretoria in uh, peter's marisburg and also in cape town they colored people in south africa she can tell you for 10 rand 20 rand which is about 50 a 100 shillings here kama shilingi 100 ama 50 hapa they kill each other wana wana bas you can have a brother here an enemy of his other brother because of money yesi unaweza kuwa na ndugu hapa ni sui kwa ndugu mwingine kwa ajili ya fedha yes aibu kwa a sister here is avoiding another sister dada hapa anamuepuka dada mwingine kwa ajili ya pesa aibu kwa you cannot love money more than your brother Kwe or your sister and the best of the idea ndugu yako ama dada save amen brother we can't finish teaching about love ndugu hatuwezi kamilisha kufunza kuhusu upendo if you love ukipenda you will want your brother or your sister to be with you utataka ndugu yako na dada awe pamoja na we were having a case in, in Kigali tulikuwa na kesi kule Kigali a brother was complaining ndugu alikuwa analalamika whenever me have money wakati mimi niko na pesa i call my brother to come naita ndugu yangu basi njoo tunasherekea wow we celebrate together but when he has got Lakini, money lakini yeye akipata pesa he calls the family members anaita watu wa jamii yake he forgets me ananisahau I will just come the way God does not like witness. Sasa nitakuja tu jinsi Mungu akosisha. I pass by, I see. Ninapita pale naona. Brother, you are here. Uko hapa? Ah yes, brother here. Ndugu ni kwa hapa. Kibarua kidogo. I did some work. Ah leo kibarua sasa walinipa jana. I got some money yesterday. And now uh, uh, this is my uncle. Huyu ni mjomba. If you don't know, I know that is my nephew. Huyu ni mjomba, huyu ni mfwa. Huyu ni mfwa. Ah okay. So we are eating and Sasa drinking tunakula hapa tunakunywa pamoja. Yeah, but I will look for you. Nitakutafuta. Nitakutafuta. Already peace is God. <laughs> Don't say shalom. Amani imekusha kwenda usiseme shalom. Ha ah, okay sawa. Ha ah, sawa it's okay. It was a case I had with I, I had to deal with him. Yes, it's wrong. Nishukurikie kule Rwanda. And the brother was very humble said brother forgive me I have not reached the level of your love the brother would love upendo wandu that one hiyo moja should not be here isifanyike hapa basi amen am i saying you must not assist your family Sema usisaidie jamii yako la sijasema wasaidie do whatever you want Fanya to do but priority lakini kwa nafasi ya kwanza remember i am the lord who brought you out of egypt kumbuka mimi ni mungu niliyekutoa mimi you shall not have any other god beside me utakuwa na miungu mingine mara nyingi you must not have money challenging me usiwe na fedha ambayo inashinda hallelujah amen amen Laodicea loves money. Yaani laudikia wanapenda pesa. That's why in Revelation chapter 3 it says. Katika ufunuo 3 inasema. Because you say. Kwa maana unasema. I have money. Niko na pesa. I am rich. Mimi ni tajiri. I don't need anything. Hitaji jambo lolote. Because you just say. You are miserable. Ni mtu wa kuhurumiwa. Save me. I have money. Niko na pesa. No, 
I don't need anything. See, touch. Jambo lolote. You you are praying because you're looking for money. No, I'm not going to ask you to touch. I have money. Mimi ni kona pesa. There's a place in Congo there they say. Kona mahali kule Congo na say. You people you go to university. Kona enda you. To look for money. Kona touch the pesa. But me I've got to bring you the pesa. Man ni kwa pa. I have money. Now I need people of study to help. Kwa wale watu wa mesoma kujua kuni sasa. How to do the money? Yani kwa sabu pesa. He can buy a crate of uh, beer. Yeah. He says, wash my car. <laughs> he sits here he's smoking. <laughs> you are washing this car <laughs> with beer. <laughs> That's also where I learned. They can give you anything you want. But don't ask them money. Lakini usio ulize fedha. You want to be dropped there? Ah, I drop you. Nataka kuteremshwa, nitakupeleka. You want this and I give. Nataka hiki nitakupa. Sasa. No. You are even fear. Jamii hata unaogopa. My wife told me there was a man. Kongo aliniambia. A man. Kulikuwa na mtu. You have in your house. Uko na yeye nyumbani. You plan I will go there I will ask him 100 dollars. You will not intimidate me. Today. You go. You reach there. Ah, come, 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 come. Ah. You talk. You are having your problem. Ah. Well, now before leaving. Kabla ya kutoka. I I also I want to go. Now. Oh yeah, you want to go. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> no, you see. <laughs> but I've got my open here. Yeah. You will ask for a viral pen. Then when he gives you the viral pen, you walk out of his house. <laughs> There are people. There are people. Whom you cannot ask for money. Yani huwezi waomba fedha. Because money has become everything to them. Fedha zimefanyika ni kila kitu kwao. That's why in the responsibility in the church it says. Anyone who is to be a deacon. Yule anayetaka kufanyika shibani. Ah, vision. Ah, my basi. He must be someone who does not have the love of money. Na awe ni mtu ambaye hapendi pesa ama fedha. Because you will be in a place where no a brother comes. Sikuwa katika hali ndugu anakuja. Brother I need you you have the love of money you will say like Judas because you see you were saying now what I was to give you I have got the biashara to run brother I told you I have nothing if your brother comes sacrifice amen 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 yes Now let's go to John chapter chapter 15 and we finish. Asa twende injili ya Mathayo ya Yohana. What kills love in our age? Ni kinachoua upendo kizazi chetu. Selfishness. Uchoyo. The love of upenda fedha. The love of upenda Everybody say money. Kila mtu anasema I not hear you. Sijakusikia. Everybody say money. Kila mtu anasema pesa. The love of money is killing the brotherly love sasa kupenda pesa kuna huo upendo wa ndugu Matthew John chapter 15 Injili ya Yohana kuna sita ndugu waweza kuketi waweza kuketi Brothers wandu sisters dada listen to this sikiliza makini As the father verse 9 As the Father loved me, I also loved you. Abide in my love. Amen. Kama vile baba alivyonipenda na mimi, nami nilivyowapenda ninyi, kaeni katika pendo langu. 
Everybody say amen. amen. Who must abide in the love of Yeshua? Nani anapaswa kukaa ndani ya upendo wa Yeshua? The believers. Yule mwamini. Here is talking to his believers. These ones are not family related. Maneno haya uhusishi na jamii, anaenda kwa waumini. They are spiritually related. Ni mambo yanohusika na hali ya kiroho. Are we together? Kwa pamoja. Brother Tom. Ni kutoma. We are okay. Kwa sawa. He says. Anasema, abide. Basi kaeni in my love katika pendo langu it means inamaanisha at any time in your life as a believer wakati wote katika maisha yako kama muumini if this table is that love kama meza hii ndio you must not be found here i pass you must you must not be found here you must not be found here you must only abide inapasa tu kila mara ukae ndani that Yeshua's love. Oh, it means make Yeshua's love your physical address. Yaani ufanye upendo wa Yeshua kwa makao yako halisi. Say that. Your house. Nyumba yako is Yeshua's love. Upendo wa Yeshua. Nyumba yako ni upendo wa Yeshua. Correct. Sawa. Amen. Amen. He says. Anasema If you keep my commandment you will abide in my love what maintains you Ninini kinachokudumisha in Yeshua's love ndani ya upendo wa Yeshua what makes you abide Ninini kinachokufanya ukae in Yeshua's love katika upendo wa Yeshua the scripture says maandiko yanasema the commandment maamri zile What are the commandment? Amri ni gani? You shall love the Lord your God. Ambenda Bwana Mungu wako kwa moyo wako wote. You shall not make any curved image. Basi hautafanya aina yoyote ya sanamu. If you obey that, ukitii hiyo, you will be in the love. Utakuwa ndani ya upendo. You go to idolatry, loves you have abandoned. Ukienda kwa kuabudu sanamu, upendo umekushawacha. Say amen. Sema amina. Do not commit adultery. Sizini. Do not give false testimony. Usitoe ushahidi wa uongo. Do not lie. Usidangane. Do not murder. Usiue. When you observe this commandment, you will be in the love. Utakuwa unakaa ndani ya upendo wa Mungu. The love will protect you. Upendo huo utakulinda. Will fight for you. Utakupigania. Amen. Amen. Just as I have kept my father's commandment and abide in his love. Kama vile mimi nilivyoshika amri za baba yangu na kukaa katika pendo lake. You observe my commandment. Yaani unazitia amri zangu. I love you. Nakupenda. In other word, yani kwa mambo mengine, Yeshua say here. Yeshua anasema If you obey me, yani mkinitii mimi, I will love you. Nitakupenda. I love that sentence. Napenda sentence hiyo. It's not so. Sivyo. Yes. Just obey me. Nitii tu mimi. That's all I need. Hicho ninachohitaji. I don't want you to love me. Sitaki unipende. Yahweh say. Yahweh anasema, obey my. Wewe nitii amri zangu. My love will shower you. Sasa, mpendo wangu utakujinyesia wewe. Amen. Amen. That's why because we obey the commandment. Ndio maana basi jinsi tuna zitii amri. Kwa sababu tuna zitii amri. What is on top there? Nini kilicho pale juu? You obey me. Ukinitii mimi. Loves come. Say amen. amen. Even among your children. You are not Peter, Jenny, Netanya. Listen to me carefully also. Every child here, listen also. If you obey your pa, your, your father or your parents, the parent will love you. Amen. Am I correct? Yes. 
He says, Anasema basi. These things I have spoken to you. Mambo hayo basi nimewaambia. That my joy oh, may remain in in you. Ili furaha yangu iwe ndani yenu. There is nothing beautiful. Dugu hakuna kitu cha kupendeza kama. When Elohim sees you are obeying him. Kama Elohim anaona kama yani kwamba unamtii. You provoke his his, his joy. Yaani unaleta una, una nini unavuta furaha yake. One day. Siku moja. The the test of the strength was imposed to some of them. Yaani kipimo cha nguvu kiliwekewa wengine wao. Yahweh stood. Yahweh akasimama. Satan stood. Shetani akasimama. Let's see, say, let's see if they are going to obey your word. Acha tuone kama tutatii neno lako basi. Meshak Shadrach, Abednego. Abednego. If you will not worship the king. Kama hamtamwabudu mfalme. During this month. Yaani kwa mwezi of Ramadan. Wa Ramadan. You will be thrown in the furnace. Sasa tupo katika tanuru la moto. Where are they at? You speak. Who will not? Atuta. Sema sawa. The wind. They took the trumpet. Agapao versus Philip. Agapao sasa kinyume cha Philip. If you love your 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 life. Kama unapenda basi maisha yako, you will lose it. Utaipoteza. But if you love my word. Kama unapenda neno langu. Even if you die you still have eternal life. Mesha kisha draga bini ngole said. Mesha kisha draga na bini ngole akasema. The one who was their leader I said. Yule ambaye alikuwa kiongozi wao akasema You know remember the commandment. Nakumbuka ma amri. The commandment says. Amri inasema hivi you must not worship any other god. Basi usimwabudu na Mungu mwingine yeyote. Abeni go say. Abeni go say. That the one is in me. Iko ndani yangu. Mesha kasema. Mesha kasema. We are going to die for that. Acha tufe basi kwa ajili ya hiyo. Amen. You are free. Mkubali. But I'm ready. Mimi niko tayari. Mesha, you are free. I'm ready. Tayari. Abeni go. Abeni go. Tayari. Okay, in the morning. Asubuhi. Pa 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 pa. The whole people. Watu wote. Gathered in front of him. Akakusanyika mbele ya Sahaba wa Kainama. Mesha Shadrach and Abednego. Mesha Shadrach na Abednego. Stood up. Hao wakasimama tu. Wasalia wameshimama. Say maybe they did not hear the sound. Wenda wakusikia sauti. Blow it again. Piga tena. Pa la la la. Piga tena kinaanga. Everyone. Bila mtu. Kainama. They stood up. Wale walisalia wamesimama tu. Brother, can you imagine what is inside there? Unadhani uh, your life is on stake here. Yeah. Maisha yako yako. Maisha sadaka bin Nico. Why don't you bow down? Give it for formality. Hata tu kwa ajili ya kwa hiyo. Why not bow down? Because the commandment of God says so. Ready to Ready to adjust to your testimony, your life. Yaani wewe uko Tayari kubadilisha kutoa maisha yako kwa ajili ya ushuhuda wako. Brother until that test is here. Yani then you know if you love God for sure. Ndio utajua kama unampenda Mungu kwa kweli. This devil is coming the bus. Watu wao wanakuja wao wao magaidi kwa bus. You love Jesus if you say yes I shoot you. Kama ndio unakuangamiza. Oh if you want to become a Muslim you are you are going to live. Ikaa kwa Muislamu wewe unaishi. Hapo ndio tutaona. That's the place where we see. Now you just say. Unasema ndugu Meshak Shadrach na Abednego. Meshak Shadrach na Abednego. They were called. Waliitwa. You did, did you hear the command? Ulisikia amri? Yes. Did you to disikia? Did you hear the trumpet? Ulisikia uh, na kinubi? Yes. Ndio. So you just chose to lose your life. Yaani nyinyi mliamua tu muangamizwe. Meshak Shadrach na Abednego said. Shadrach Meshak na Abednego akasema, We have a commandment. Sisi tuko na amri. From where we 
come from? Israel. Elohim, you don't see. Taught us that if it's not him, this one here can never touch the ground. They say, Oh, king. Even if you throw us in that pit, we want and we are ready to die, not bowing down. He said, we believe that the one who gave the command can keep us alive. They say, even if Elohim chooses not to keep us alive, he remember one thing, we will not bow down. The Bible says, abide in my love. And those who obey my commandment, they provoke my joy. But imagine how Elohim in heaven was feeling. He said, I have God's children on earth. Now they say, Ale, take the, the furnace. Hit it seven times. Brother, when it reached the seventh, then it was the highest of the heat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the time when the heat is too much. <laughs> When we reach Laodicea, they took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They took the early church, threw them in their trial. Because at that time, on the seventh church age, the Bible says, one like the Son of Man came. Why? Because it's only in the Laodicean time that the Lord will come. Shout Amen. They threw them inside. Brother, how are you? I'm touching the fire. <laughs> Brother, it's not burning. <laughs> not even the heat. We're just normal here. The joy of the Lord uh, is our salvation. <laughs> Brother! The king said, Something is not happening. <laughs> Meshach is walking. Meshach is walking. Shadrach is walking in the water. In the water, in the water, in the fire. Dani Amoto. Abeniko. Abenemo. Inside there. Kule Dani. The king said. Fal me akasem. So you people. Asa nini. Is that normal? Ii ni kawaida kwe. I said no, it's not normal. Ii si kawaida. Amen. Remove the fire now. Zima Amoto. They remove the fire. Okay, Zima. Meshach, Meshach, Shadrach, Shadrach Abednego. Abednego. They reply from the fire. Yes, King, you are fired. They have been for this time inside there. Please come out. As yes, they were coming out, the Son of God disappeared. They came out. Oh, say, man. You love me. Okay, na mimi. Abide in my word. Yeah. If you love my commandment, Basi na na abide in my love. Kanda ni upendo wangu. And when you abide in my love, okay, kanda ni upendo wangu. it will provoke joy in me. Yeah. Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego can testify we provoke Elohim's joy. Then they say, Your God is a true God, we have to worship. Now listen, the enemies of the people whom the fire was burning seven times. After we we succeed our fire, we are gone. After us, the great tribulation. It was burning who? The Babylonian. In Babylon, it was their fire. Brother! That 
tribulation that is coming now here is not for the believers. They say now. Uh, identify who was uh, accusing you. At that time, you want to be the friend of uh, Meshach Shadrach. So remember, I bought you bread. Uh, you remember that day I gave to you? When, uh, I remember that day. King, it's him. So, the God I gave you bread for you. It's gone. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, you're not Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now say Shaddai loudly. Shaddai. Once more. Shaddai. Once more. Shaddai. It keeps his promises. Amen. 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 We are closing here. Tunafungia. He said, Brother, may I give you this? You remember? King, this one. Here. Even those who want to keep quiet, this they collected it. They threw them in the, in the fire. They feel all they had for their family members and their demons. Did he protect them? They died. One day, Daniel. Daniel. They say, you, you are always worshipping, looking at the east. Because I know in the east there, there is a temple. And the one who built the temple says, Yahweh, Yahweh, everywhere your children will be in this world, whenever they pray, facing this temple, wherever they are, Yahweh, reply to them. Daniel, remember the teaching of the fathers. He said, King, that's the reason why I pray facing east. So the, the jealous people are saying, What can we do to get him killed? Because he's getting all the money that and he's a foreigner. The king loves this foreigner. You are a magician. You also. Why can't you act like this? Uh, you also. Why can't you act like this? They knew they could not be like that. <laughs> they knew that the God of Daniel is the one they should have. So they did not go to Daniel and say, Daniel, teachers, we want your God to be like, like roots did. No, they say no. We are going to kill this foreign. My friend, you know how to write. And the king also listens to you. We are going to talk to the king. My friend, if you surround yourself with bad counselors, they will blind you. That's why brotherhood love. Even when we are in a fellowship, my eyes is always open. You misplace a word, you find me there. You try to drink more, you will find me there. <laughs> Because love corrects. Yeah. Say amen. Yeah. No. So for one week, week more, for one month, and we are going to worship to Abudu too. Doing this way, okay? If I oh, King. I'm fine, You know we love you. Not just look better. Ah, you are the King of God. You know, praising, praising someone also too much is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Say amen. Say amen. Yeah. Hey, it's yeah. bad. See, si, Bema. I remember those people next to Brother Pierre Cass. <laughs> Pierre Cass. <laughs> Pierre Cass. 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 You know, in the love we have for you, <laughs> we have put a plan. You, you are not in our level. You are so we consider you. Sir, you are not in our level. 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 You are
we are going to worship. Sasa tutakuabudu wewe. Sawa. Sawa. You just say. We weka tu sahihi hapa. They praise him. Wakamsifu. They blind him. Yaani wakampofuja. They made him sign. Alafu akaweka sahihi. It's became a law. Ikakuwa sheria. They said now. Wakasema sasa. Anyone will not worship you looking at this way. Ule ambaye hataabudu kwa namna hii. We will be going to face the lion. Atakuwa anatupwa katika nini ya simba, tundu la simba. They said ah. Wakasema eh. Lion. Daniel said Elohim is my judge. You, you are not my judge. He said. No problem. When people went to worship. Watu walipoenda kuabudu. Daniel also went to. Daniel yepeshaenda kama hali yake kawaida. The people were accusing him they were not even obeying the law themselves. Wale walikuwa wanamshtaki hata wao watije. They didn't go to worship. Wao waende kwa. But they were coming to check Daniel. Wanakuja kumwangalia Daniel. This is the time where you were supposed to worship. Wakati wewe unapaswa uwe. You are coming here to warn them. Nini mnakuja kuniangalia? They did not throw themselves in the in the in the no. They did not want that mission. Hawakuwa wanataka hali hiyo. The mission was for Daniel. Yaani hiyo mpangilio ilikuwa ni kinyume cha Daniel. Wakaja expecting to get there. Wakitarajia mkamata Daniel wakaangalia Daniel was worshiping Daniel alikuwa anaabudu kawaida ya Shaddai facing his is this is angalia mashariki baba anasema ya Allah ya Shaddai they came with a camera wakaja basi na kinasa picha video wakachukua video wakashika hata pia na video mfalme ona jamaa ndio huyu Daniel Daniel ndio huyu jamaa unayempenda the bible says king of the Daniel mfalme alimpenda Daniel But is it now because they have already made me sign? Then you come here. Then you enjoy. Then you come. You break the law. 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 You And I grew old. I have never seen a righteous man be forsaken by Elohim. They took Daniel, threw him to the lion, the lion of the tribe of Yehuda. Rejoicing you. That is the love we have to keep Elohim's commandment. Daniel was thrown there. The lions were here. Who has ever seen lion? I went with Brother Pierre Gaste and Brother Zagabe here to see lion. He opens his mouth. It's two times the head of the brother. Daniel was inside. Daniel alikuwa kule ndani. Because of the commandment. Kwa ajili ya amri. He said lion how are you? Nasema simba namna gani? They is a is a massage there. Wapata wanapasa pale wale simba. If Elohim favors the ways of a man. Yaani Elohim akimpa kibali njia za. He will make even his enemies. Atafanya pia ni maadui zake to become his friend. Revelations are coming. Daniel is busy writing the things. In the morning, the king Isaac did not sleep. He said, "Maybe Daniel is sleeping." He came. No one was there. Daniel. Daniel. He was expecting to hear the feedback. He was surprised. Yes, King, live eternally. Let them have him. Say this, say it. Say this, say it. Say it. Do you mean you are living? Daniel, you know that you know man is your best man. The Lord I obey. The Lord I serve has protected me. Close the mouth of the lion. Lion became my friend. He said, "Daniel, come out." Daniel came out. Daniel came out. Daniel came out. Then he said, "My friend, say, 'Masas Sarafiki, not only you. See where you. This time around, you, where we, your wife, your children, what to do? Inside. But I'm here, brother. Yes. 
Let's go back here. Where the bar? The scripture says. Man, you can't say. If you keep my commandment, you will abide in my love. Just as I've kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. Brother, imagine Daniel after the den of lions. You know how much he will trust Elohim? Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. You know how much they will be very joyful? Meshach will say, will say to Abednego, Brother, we did not do wrong to Elohim. We are benefiting now. See you. Hey. The love of God. I don't know if we could sing that song. The love of God. You know that song? Finish the reading. Finish the song. We are finishing here in verse uh, 12. This is my commandment that you have. Sorry. This is my commandment. That you, the brothers, you, the sisters, You love one another. Say amen. As I have loved you. You are ready to defend your brother even against the enemies. The same way Elohim loved Yeshua, the same way you have to love your brother, the same way you have to love your sister, the same standard. Amen. Amen. When you have that love, Elohim will always fight for you. Amen. He finishes. Greater love has no one. Sorry, let me read properly. Greater love has no one than this. I'm sorry, sorry, is that correct? Yes. 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 Has no one than this. Than to lay down. Elohim said, you have to lay down your life for your brother. You have to lay down your life for your sister. <laughs> no greater joy. Brother, read. 13. You were not there. So, so man, so Greater love has yes. no one than this. That someone lay down his life for his friend. Let everyone say amen. Wait a minute. You are laying your life for who? Your family member? Or a believer? Now, go Sam. home with that homework. Go home and say, who among the brothers here have already laid my life for? Who among the sisters here have already laid my life for? There is no greater love than this. Amen. Finish the reading. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, Amen. No longer do I call you servants. For the servant does not know what his master is doing. 
does not know. Hajui. But do we know here? Yes, is it Najua? Behold, Angalia Sas. I will send you Elijah the prophet. Before the end. Kabla ya mwisho. Comes. Kabla ya mwisho kufika. All the written mysteries. Yaani mafumbo yote ambayo yameandikwa will be revealed. Ya tafumbuliwa. Am I right? Yes. So, this is the age where Elohim has made us known everything. Ah, in kitabu zote ambazo Elohim ametufundia kila is written. Ambacho kimeandikwa. Is the seven thunders message written? No. Zile ngurumo saba umeandikwa? Ujumbe wa ngurumo saba umeandikwa? Because the seven thunders spoke. Kwa maana ngurumo saba zilinena. What they spoke? The mambo ambayo zilinena. It's not written. Haijaandikwa. Do we know it? Tunajua? La hasha. Finish. Kamilisha somo. But I have called you friends. Nini mwaita marafiki? For all that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. Amen. Amen. Wait a minute. Daniel, Daniel, take the book until the end time. When the book will be open, the mystery is revealed. We are no longer the other thing. We become Yeshua's friend because what he knows what Yeshua knows that is exactly what we do in terms of knowledge of the truth at this age here we are not different from Yeshua brother you don't understand what Yeshua now knows that is exactly what you know what you will say about the seven thunders that what Yeshua will also say if he is asked the question he will answer like you the love of God hallelujah let's stand up we are going to thank Elohim. Then we sing. And we go home. At one, let's be at all, uh, already going. Amen. If you find that Elohim has touched your heart, if you have found that uh, somewhere you are not right with Elohim, if the love of brothers and sisters is not in you, face the ground. Nenda chini ya enda kwa pale Calvary. Ask Elohim. Muulize Elohim. Increase my faith. Basi jaza imani yangu. I want to grow. Nataka kukua. And panda this mlima. Nipande mlima huu. Until I reach the brotherhood. Baka nifikirie upendo wa wandu. Where love will be the reason that I'm living. Mahali ambapo upendo itakuwa ndio sababu ya wewe. I will be driven by love. Itakuwa naongozwa na upendo. Amen. 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 As you take care of your family, remember Elohim's family. Amen. Amen.